Hey, welcome aboard Flecker. We're here at Galaxy's Edge today to check out the brand new photo experience. You can get professional photos taken here at Galaxy's Edge by a Disney photographer for a limited time. There's also a brand new seat. Oh my gosh, you. <laughs> Chewbacca is also here. What's up, Chewie? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> We're also here to check out a brand new C3PO head that is available at the Droid Depot and it's also available at Star Trek. to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. We had a fun day. That's all this vlog is today. If you want to have fun at Galaxy's Edge, hang out with us today. Welcome aboard, Flight Group. Back to Always Believe. We are in the first order shop right now uh, because we are about to do the photo experience. If you come here, you can sign in. It's a limited time experience that they're doing here at Disneyland. It's kind of word of mouth, I heard. Uh, they don't really advertise it too much. Uh, we're about to head over to the Millennium Falcon and take photos with a professional photographer. We did this once on Adventureland Day with a photographer. Uh-oh, hold on. <laughs> Alice is ready for a photo. Oh no! Mama, yeah, you we gave didn't, that to her? We didn't bring sabers. No, we forgot. We didn't bring anything. We're just we're just testing it out for you, flight crew. Yeah. So what you need to do is come over to the first order shop and ask them about doing the photo experience. Uh, it's about, well, it was $34 with a discount for us, but it's about $40 to do it. I don't know how many photos we get just yet. I don't know how much time we get just yet. We're about to find out. She, like, knows this place. Like, yeah, she, she does. She's excited. She's <laughs> not your house. You can't just go wherever you want. <laughs> she thinks Galaxy's Edge is her house. <laughs> so this is the area where they're doing the photo shoots, which we always take photos anyway. Also, before we go in there, haven't seen this in a while, there is a droid up top on the stage. Yeah, that droid is new, he's up there. Sometimes they have characters up there. Kylo Ren, I've seen him up there before. We're in this back area where we always take photos in this back area and now Disney is like, hey, let's set this up as a photo experience. So we're gonna try it out right now for you guys. We're curious, we're curious what this is gonna be like. I'm trying to keep a baby happy. <laughs> After this, we'll get blue milk. Blue milk Chewie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Hi, Chewie needs a break. <laughs> Hi, I'm just taking photos. Okay. She's ready for her blue milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She needs a break too. Yeah. She's ready to train now. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, she is. Well, she's a fighter. Yeah, she could yeah. be. Yeah. Picture with Richard. She's excited. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, go back over there. Can you say blue? Blue. Blue. Can you say milk? Milk. Milk. We're going to get a blue milk right now because that was her reward. Yep, that's what she wanted. We're taking the photos. 
Alice did a good job with the photo shoot. Uh, <laughs> long day. The photographer was very patient. She was very nice. Very, very, very nice flexible. Photographer. Yeah. No, but we just wanted to try that out. We wanted to see what it was like because it's a new experience. It's a very limited time experience that they said that they're just... The trial. They're trial testing trial, it. Um, that area is blocked off. Yeah, it stink. does kind of stink. That is a, a very popular area for a lot of people to take photos. We at the beginning of the park opening, we're like, this is a great corner Especially to take photos. Especially if you have a lightsaber because it's very dark yeah. over there. And that's really the only spot I think that you can take photos in. It looked like we didn't move anywhere else. We no. stayed put in that one location. Yeah, because when we did the Adventureland Day, we moved a couple places. So that was yeah. the first time we had done something like this, was on the Galactic Star Cruiser, oh, yeah. which was really cool. That was very cool. We took photos in the bar, we took photos in the engine room. But they did say that this is a limited time experience. They're testing it out to see how it does, and they might continue it if it does well. But it's only been going on for about a week. Uh, and on the way out of the park, we will check in with the photo pass area, and we will get, I guess, digital downloads that we can do through the app. And I don't know if there's... Uh, uh, printed versions that we can do as well. But it's nice though because a lot of times it's just Ashley and I particularly taking photos together with switch on and off, especially with Alice right now. So it's nice to have another person take really nice photos for us and kind of work with us and, and pose us and do all that kind of stuff. So it is described as a relic head of C-3PO. This is so cool. This is such a cool detail. Especially the only way I say it. Threepio! Threepio! Where could he be? Where could he be? <laughs> it's a nightmare! Galactic Archives helmet for the Kylo Ren helmet, and now this is the new C-3PO helmet of sorts. It's but it's basically just supposed to be like you found C-3PO's head. And you can reveal all the wiring just like in episode one. It's $120, which is about the cost of getting a Black Series helmet. Premium electronic head with lights and sounds. So oh, man, I would love to pick one of these up. This is cool. You can see uh, you can take it apart. He has character phrases, so he does talk. I think so. it'd be fun to have one of these on the shelf in our studio and also have a Babu freak next to him like he's working on him. They don't have one of these officially out on display, but they do have one apparently at Star Trader. So we're going to go check that out and actually see this thing in action. Because and fun fact for a lot of you who don't realize it, C-3PO has the very first line in Star Wars. Oh, Ashley's just pointing out right below there's this new bag, a new Droid Depot bag. This is so retro, that's right? really cool. I thought I liked Oh, that's kind of fun. It does. See, that's totally like our flight crew always believe shirts that I made for you guys. It's exactly what I did for that same reason. 77 for Star Wars, 1977. But like, if they, I would prefer this. She doesn't want it. Do you want to wear this one? No. No, okay. she's like, she's no. Done. <laughs> she's done for the day. There's a, uh, a sippy cup here at the uh, Droid Depot as well, too. It has R2-D2, a bunch of fun droids on it. We have Chopper, R2-D2, we have BB-8, we have one of the pit droids, and just a bunch of parts. An R2-D2 sweatshirt. It doesn't have a hood, it has this really big collar to it, though. And it has a blueprint of R2-D2 on the back. It's weird lighting over here right now. I don't know what's going on with that. like watching the parts go by. Yeah. It's very relaxing to come in here and just look at all the parts. It's a very nice atmosphere in here. It's very air conditioned as well too, which is nice. <laughs> she likes that. It's kind of sad they feel like they're in a cage. No, they're getting charged. Oh, they're getting charged? Yeah, they're getting charged. Oh, good. Okay. No, we'll see. We will see them again. Let's go to the market place. Let's go to the market place. Let's go to the market place. Late night on Batu. We, we had a little bit of a late night starting coming to the park. That's fine. It's nice. It was hot today. We looked at the temperature. It was like 80. Two degrees? We gotta do the bounty on thing sometime. It's only been around for a year. Yeah. <laughs> one, every, day we'll, one day we'll cover it for you guys. Yeah, every time I walk by the bounty on a game, I'm like, we gotta come back and do that. But like Ashley said, it's been around we for over a year. Magic fans yeah. Linked up. We'll do that sometime. We'll come back and do that. That's a really cool idea that they finally added to the park. Oh, they're lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lightsaber update? Nothing no. new, nothing new. No new lightsabers. <laughs> We're gonna go into docks right now just to see if they have anything new. Uh, I mean, it's a lot to expect I mean, what them. what would they have? I don't know what, what they would, would have. Be? I don't what know what could they have. 
It wouldn't be, yeah, it wouldn't be the Acolyte lightsabers, unfortunately. None of those. I predicted that we were going to have a bunch of those, but unfortunately, but there would have been so many lightsabers that they would have brought in here. Maybe they still will do it. Who knows? I'm not going to, not going to put it out of the equation just yet. update is there's no update there's all the same lightsabers which they put so many lightsabers out since this park is open yeah. that's why i pushed the idea that the acolyte was going to drop so many lightsabers here at the park i was like did they just create this show just to have a plethora of lightsabers to sell at galaxy's edge were those things always there those like apartments up there Not exactly sure, but Ashley was just questioning if we'd ever seen those relic prints kind of up on the wall over there. They kind of look like Jedi. He's got so many things from around the galaxy that you would just never even notice unless you look up. So they have the new training remote, lightsaber game. Uh, it's here in Doc Onders. We've heard some people say that it's not the greatest game. It doesn't work too well, but I've never played it, so I have no clue no. idea. It's a cool prop as well, too, if you just want to have a training remote as a display. I'm glad they offer, again, unique things like that here at Galaxy's Edge, things that are very in-world. That's what we love about the park. That's what's so fun about Galaxy's Edge, all these in-world props and collectibles that you can buy that are very, like you just reach into Star Wars and pulled something out that you can, take hold of and that tangible sense uh, in Star Wars is something that I've always loved being able to hold a lightsaber being able to have an actual proper costume from the movies it merely makes the movies feel so much more alive to me personally uh, and that's what I love about Galaxy's Edge it's such a real world experience like you're really in Star Wars See, oh my gosh you <laughs> Chewbacca is also here. what's up Chewie <laughs> Chewie's just sneaking around and spying and I didn't even see him Thanks, buddy. <laughs> we love Chewie. <laughs> she's uh, she's taking a, a, a little change break. Oh, excellent. She had a blue milk, so she needed. That's right. Diaper change. Diaper change. <laughs> I always try to be so professional doing intros for our vlogs, and then sometimes you have Chewbacca and Ray just sneak up behind you. So I was just recording the intro, and Chewie came up behind me, Chewie and then took over. yeah, and then also Ray was like, "Oh, where's your youngling?" And I was like, "She had a blue milk, so you know we had to." Diaper change. <laughs> so we're in the Toy Darien Toy Shop, which we love coming in. They always have so many fun collectibles, all the stuffies. Usually we come in to get a new stuffy for Alice. We haven't bought one in a while. Some of the ones she doesn't have at the moment. She does not have Viva Marati yet, which we will need to pick up at some point. She doesn't have Chewy. She doesn't we have, have Chewy. Uh, we have Life Day Chewy though. We do have Life Day Chewy, which is pretty cool. That's and that's coming up. Life Day is coming up very soon. Doc Ondar? We have Doc Ondar, which we were just visiting. Please. No? She said please. please. Please? Is Doc Gondar our new friend? <laughs> and she wants uh, Doc Gondar. She does like talking to him. Yeah. To to she Doc does. Tell Doc Gondar. You want to get Doc Gondar? You like Doc? Yeah? Alright, this might be the new uh, the new stuffy yes. that we're getting. Yay! Okay. You want to give him a title? Add him to the collection. Yes. We met her today. Did you see Vi Marathi too? Vi and Doc have been in the park since the beginning. They're two of the staples of the park. Oh, look at that. I have the Falcon, but... The Walker? Is it at, -AT or is it at at I don't know. Which one is it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Just say it however you want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Did they always have this Mandalorian? Though? No. I don't know if I remember this. No. Our, uh, our resident expert. Our expert. Are we talking to Jen? Yeah. <laughs> Has this been here? Ashley is texting our good friend Jen Marie, who's been in a lot of episodes, to say, hey, is this something new? Has this been here before? This is based off of the uh, Stormtrooper doll that was in Rogue One. Jin Erso had as a little girl, and they used to sell that here at the park, and we were like, we'll get that one day when we have our own daughter. 
so and they stopped selling it before Alice was born. And we're kind of regretting not buying no. it. But they have a whole series that they keep putting out. So this is a wood dinjarin. You want to do it? Here, you want to do it for the bike first? Show them. You can do it. It's a Out came the sun and tried to fall for me. Itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Thank you for doing nursery rhymes with Alice today. So we're gonna pick up Doc Ondar today. He's very regal in his sash and robe. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah. You keep wanting one of those umbrellas. I do. Yeah, I do want an Anakin really umbrella. Cool. They're really, really well, cool. Well, I have every Anakin lightsaber Savers. that they pretty much put out, and I don't have this one, the umbrella. Whoa, $75. It's a defense against the rain. Fighting Django Fett in the rain, I need a lightsaber like that. We got one treat today. It is the Grey Stuff, the Rose Tavern. It's a pumpkin one for the, the holiday season. It tastes like pumpkin cheesecake. It just tastes like pumpkin cheesecake? Oh. The Grey Stuff is just the mousse. This oh. looks like white cake, like a muffin. Oh, wow, wow. Very pumpkin-y. Okay, Alice needs some more. I need to yeah, give it up. She's getting mad. Alice is mad that Dad is taking too long. <laughs> just need to have a quick little snack before we uh, go exploring for more Star Wars. <laughs> Alice is over here in the corner just, give me more, please, give me more. <laughs> yeah, the cake's good. It's like a spiced cake inside of the uh, the cream on the outside. So it's, it's a bit different than what a normal gray stuff is like. These are important <laughs> updates. <laughs> We're really here for Star Wars. The gray stuff. Is it delicious? I just try it. Just try it, you'll like it. Well, we've got one more week to try it. You have one more week to try it. So by the time I edit this vlog, it won't be at the park anymore. <laughs> oh well, flight crew. It was good, try it next year. You're welcome. You're welcome. From your captains, Ashley and Brian. <laughs> Minus the tag. They're very cute. They look really good on you. I like that this is an alternate version of uh, Disney Airs. Yeah, I remember I bought some from my Grogu outfit. Yeah. But I bought them on Etsy. Somebody oh, made yeah. them, they like 3D printed. They finally did it. You're like, these are deep for me. Those look good for like washing your hair at night too. They almost look like your uh, yeah, headbands. Yeah, you can put them on scrub your face. Yeah. You want to try, babe? You want to wear? <gasps> oh, wow, it was empty in here two seconds ago. Like <laughs> all these people just showed up. <laughs> Wow. We turn around and like, everything's gone. Yeah. <laughs> All the merch is gone. Like, what was that? Yeah, it's like the locust came the in locust. and just took it all. It's like Bug's Life. They have these new Guardians here, so like, they have like these. I like the retro Tomorrowland ones. So I still love that, that design that they did. I could. Uh, nobody's saying you can't. That's true. Nobody's saying I can't. There's something to it. Yeah, just like old school simple Mickey ears. Right? Like, you don't need too much. You could also like paint them if you want to. It says Mickey on the side of them too? Yeah, but it's pretty subtle. Yeah. It's cool. Those are nice. I know. I like those. I see Han Solo. You what? I spy Han Solo. Where do you spy Han Solo? You have to look for him. Ashley just made a little game for me. We were outside of Star Traders because we were about to check out the C-3PO head inside. But she said she sees Han Solo. <gasps> I just saw him. So back here is the Millennium Falcon. The very tiny Han Solo. You only see him because of his blood striped pants. He's doing some sort of negotiation. Never seen that detail. Never paid attention to this before. On Star Tours, they're always in a hangar bay to start off and usually see that as a Millennium Falcon, uh, depending on the, the situation that you're doing. But I've never paid attention to this out here during the day because it's so bright and sunny, I never notice it. Terminator. What? <laughs> Terminator. Why don't we wear our faces like that? <laughs> what should we do to make these mannequins more futuristic? Would give them some AI robot faces. Rome That's faces. crazy looking. Um, I don't know. This feels like it was part of that collection from Star Wars. Uh, well, it is, no, from D twenty three. Got a. It's a stormtrooper head. Yeah. 
Here is that uh, droid game we are talking about. The training remote from A New Hope that Luke is using on the Millennium Falcon. And it comes with a pretty much full-size um, Empire Strikes Back style Luke lightsaber. Lights? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> the Emperor has just entered the, <laughs> the conversation. <laughs> well, that's cool too. There's also uh, the, uh, the super battle droids. These guys are powerful. I love that moment in uh, episode two where the super battle droid just smashes the other droid out of the way because he's like, get out of my way. You're not doing anything. New Black Series. So it's, yeah, it shows a rebel trooper and a stormtrooper. So this is probably just like, you can just buy a bunch of these if you want to recreate like the hallway scene from the uh, but you A New can't Hope. Look at them before you I don't buy know. Them? That doesn't make any well, sense. Well, they've been doing a lot of these packages now that are just cardboard. They're like more environmentally friendly now. I don't know. That's kind of yeah, cool. I don't know if it's new, but I really like it. Okay, let's go look at it. Oh, that's very cute. It's just simple. Oh, I like that. It's got a nice bottom. Like, oh, don't stress. It's like a warm hug in the morning. A little Grogu coffee cup. So cute. I thought one of these would be fun for Alice, too. Oh, well, it's a fun sippy cup. Oh, there's one of these. Huh? Oh, I love this. I love the, the eyes are so sparkly. What, is, what does it look like? You gotta see, I gotta see what well, this looks I've like. I've got these buns in my hair. Oh, oh, it's adorable, it. right? It looks very cute. I love that. You tried it. I actually kind of love it. I feel like I need it. You feel like you need it? You don't have enough hats. I really don't, but having a little mom hat would be cute. That'd be cute. I have so many hats from Heroes and Villains. I don't need to buy any at Disney. That looks cute on you, though. Right? $25. Cheaper than the head, the ears. <laughs> it's true, the headband. What do you think, flight crew? Not that you're going to be able to answer us in time for us to buy this. I'm guessing we're going to get this hat. Because Ashley never says, I want to buy a hat. But this one's adorable. That one's cute. Some Mandu Grogu sweatshirts. There's a kind of a dad hat. Mandalorian and Grogu, that's very cute. That's a fun texture on this shirt. It's still with that kind of cartoony style that they've been putting out for their merch. Very cool. Oh, there's something on the back too. Another Stormtrooper being silly on the back. So there's a whole new kind of anime style collection that's out, which we were anticipating is probably because of Star Wars Celebration being in Japan. So this is like a sort of denim jacket. It's kind of got a little Han Solo vibe with the pockets. Embroidered patch on the front. They also made a bag, as usual. They have a lounge fly bag. I know you liked that before. No. It's cool. It's got the Stormtrooper yeah, it's, 3D it's imprinted. I, I dig the, the coffee mug still that we checked out. I know. Just need stars in it. Just need some stars on it. It would look cute with that. <laughs> it's a cute combo. <laughs> yeah, it is a very kind of slightly thicker but soft shirt. Yeah, I just wonder how like washing would hold up with all the printing and stuff. Oh, sleepy. We're all sleepy. <laughs> Past our bedtime. Yeah. Right. So they also have a uh, Han Solo cup and I know cup. Just with the star, exploding Star Wars on the back. And they have a, a Princess Leia. It's slightly different shape. It's a little more tapered. Oh, a bunch of dog stuff. Like a little oh, bed for them. Bed for dog. Sit and stay, you will. Isn't <laughs> that's that cute? That's cute. Pet a one pet academy. I kind of like this little pouch, even though it's for like your dog. I kind of want that. Add it to my belt right yeah. here. Throw yeah, it. how do we put this on? Throw our it belts? on here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we need extra uh, poopy bags for uh, for Alice or us. For you. Oh, no. you, you could probably put, put your, your AirPods you in there. You could put your AirPods in there for sure. Right? It doesn't have to be for poo poo. No, it, it doesn't have to be for poo poo. It could be for your earpods. <laughs> sit and stay you will. It does say sit and stay you will in the well, back. Well, some people need to know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so we're up front at Star Traders to check out the 3PO head. It's on display behind the registers, so they're being very kind about letting me look at it right now quickly to show you guys. Very exciting. Oh, it does light up. Oh, yeah. Wow. And then. We seem to be made to suffer. Right here. And you just tap them on the forehead? Yeah. This guy's cool. Oh, it's not as heavy as I thought it would be. Oh, weird. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, there he is. There it is. I'm quite beside myself. I'm quite beside myself. Very cool. We seem to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. That's cool. Wow. 
going to recreate this. So you can choose to put the face on or take it off? Yeah, there's a face plate for the front of him, too. Oh. So you can reprogram him? Oh, no way to do the red eyes, right? Oh. But I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah. We need Babu Freak to help us. Oh, <laughs> man, look at that. The Emperor's Wayfinder is in the Imperial Vault. At Delta 36, transient. Oh no! Oh no! Three PO, <laughs> what happened, buddy? <laughs> That's oh really no! Cool. He's so shiny too. Look at this. Well, three PO is very cool. I'm glad they started making these because, again, you can collect the helmets. But they've never done a droid before. Now you can get C three PO, um, and he's so cool. Seeing him with all the wiring on the inside. This is a very, very cool collectible. You can get it here at uh, Star Traders, or it's at the Droid Depot in uh, Galaxy's Edge. Um, but usually, he's got his face on. He's a little naked right now. <laughs> it's like you're doing Shakespeare. So 3PO has a face plate and then you can remove it and see the wiring on the inside. It's so cool. Awesome. Very cool. I think I'm going to have to pick up one of these uh, sometime when we come back. That's a really cool shelf display piece. You got your hat, though. Yay, my hat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my new mom <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> There's a Darth Vader shirt that is so soft. Ashley was telling me, but I didn't believe her. It is, I can't describe how soft this feels. I would. You would have to have a shirt that soft for Darth Vader because his skin is so sensitive from being so toasty. It is. They're, they're like 60 bucks for one of those shirts. What? 70? My gosh. I texted you guys. Oh, you did. I did. I think that material actually would. I think you're right. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nice. Digital one. Really? We'll put that one on. Okay, cool. And we got a solo of mom, solo of dad. Oh, those are cool. And you get two 6x8s together. Whoops, a little windy. Gosh, they're so epic, they're just blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> the epic fan. Cool, so I just linked up the photos from our day. We did a, a lot of photos. So just got all of our photos uh, from the photo concierge. That was a lot of fun doing the photo shoot today. They actually came out really good. We usually just do things on our phone. It was cool to do an actual photo shoot. Doing a quick stop in the uh, trading post as we're heading out of the park for the night. Forgot to mention earlier too, we didn't really say in this episode, but if you guys are interested in our outfits we're wearing today, we are wearing Heroes and Villains again. I have a very cool polo shirt that Heroes and Villains just put out. It's like polo knit. It's so comfortable. It's very 70s looking. And Ashley's rocking, uh, I'm just talking about our shirts today. Okay, stranger. Walks up to me. <laughs> Start filming. Ashley's got a uh, Leia kind of like New Hope shirt on today, I think it is. Built on Hope. Built on Hope. Built on Hope. Yeah. And Leia belt. And a Leia belt. Belt bag thing. With pouches. The belt bag pouches from Heroes. Yep. This shirt is really soft though. Like, I really like it. It's like technically a crop top, but I tucked it in. It's technically a crop top? Yeah. But it's not like crop cropped. It's like just a little crop. Top. It was so hot today, so we just wanted to be super comfy. Again, I'm wearing this polo knit. They have a couple different styles. This is the X-Wing one. I love this. It's so comfortable. I like, when I first saw them put these out, I was like, that looks just like something I would love. Because when I actually got it and felt it, it's so different. It's so quality. It's kind of got like a stretched feeling to it. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but it's so comfortable. I haven't felt like sweaty at all today, and it's been really hot. Um, and I also have on my X-Wing bag from the racing series that they put out. It's, it's so comfy. If you guys were debating getting one of these shirts, pick one up. Say, use our code in the description below. You can get 20% off your entire order, whatever you pick up. I think it even works sometimes if they're doing sales, you can combine it, I think, with our code, so you can get even more of a discount. But Heroes and Villains is all the stuff that we love to wear when we're at Disneyland. Not just Disneyland. Well, we just wear it in, every day. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I wear Heroes and Villains every day. But we are in the trading post really quick to check out if they have anything. Oh! It's it's not the one from D23, but it's in another star speeder that they're selling. This looks more of just like it's, a model. It's not the same one though, it's a little model version. We debated a bit. 
broke a little bit. I know. We kind of debated, like, everybody to buy that star speeder at D23, but I had to go and buy the Anakin lightsabers instead. I had to be selfish. <laughs> Force is strong with this one. Galaxy's Most Wanted, Precious Cargo, Let the Force Guide You, Protect Snack Nap. <laughs> it's all the moods of Grogu. Yeah, I just like this part. Yeah? If they even had like a little Grogu embroidered on there and just kept it simple, I would buy it. Yeah, that's nice. But no. Oh, so they gotta put an entire comic book on the back. <laughs> She's very particular about her uh, the things that she loves. But she did, again, love this hat. This was a buy today. This is very silly. Well, Flight Crew, thank you so much for joining us today. We had a lot of fun doing the photo pass experience at Galaxy's Edge. I had fun checking out the C-3PO head as well, too. Mando and Grogu say hi as well. Hey, hopefully you guys had a lot of fun hanging out with us. Checking out all the new lightsabers? Wait, just kidding. Checking out all the new lightsabers? Yeah, we saw a lot of the same lightsabers. And if you're new to our channel, always believe. Thank you for joining us today. Like and subscribe. Join us. Become a member of the Flight Crew. We have a lot of fun here just playing Star Wars, exploring Disneyland all the time. Always believe, Flight Crew. Have a good night. Come back soon. Yeah.